Since you guys were cool enough to click on this video, I'm going to level with you and say that I'm pretty nervous to make a video about this subject. Ever since I was a kid in elementary, middle, and high school, I never slept in my room. I never used my room for room things. It was mostly a storage for myself and for other family members and miscellaneous items. What you're seeing now is way better than what it was before, but at the same time, it's not nearly what I want reflected in the types of videos I've been making. All right, so this is the current setup we've got going on right now. Nothing special. My bed's right there, some lights. I still have a light set up in the last video. Shelf. And currently I'm about to do a podcast. I don't have a setup yet. I really do believe in the idea that this lockdown is actually a sacred opportunity for us to actually work on the things that we always said we'd work on, but never really got to doing it. And this is one of those things for me. So I'm gonna take this on, I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey. So let me take you through this right now. So using what I've learned from various YouTube videos and also scrolling through lots and lots of different Pinterest photos and whatnot, I've kind of laid out an idea of what I wanna go for for my room. So starting with the themes, right? I decided that based off of the content I make, I want to portray creativity. I want to portray drive, imagination, and learning. These are the things that my content is usually based around, whether that be my YouTube videos, my TikTok videos, or even my podcasts. These are usually the things that I'm embodying the most. So how can I reflect that in my room? Practical things I need to be doing with my room, right? I mean, other than sleep, right? Because my bed's right there. Uh, I want to be able to film in my room. I want to be able to dance in my room, which means I'm going to have to have a good amount of open space to dance in, right? Um, I want to be able to podcast, which means that I should probably optimize the audio levels. And I record my podcast on video as well. So I want to be able to have a good background when I'm filming. First order of business is to clear out everything I know I don't want anymore. So these shelves used to be completely filled with children's books and I've narrowed them down to what I want to keep and move them over there to that shelf. Cause I'm trying to completely remove the shelf. So I'm going to have a little bit more space to dance and not crash into things as you guys have seen in the previous videos. Oh. <laughs> then we're going to continue just clearing out everything that we don't want. And then also taking down stuff um, so I can have a clear blank slate to start working with. So I'm donating most of my children's books, but I'm definitely going to keep these because without this man, I would definitely not be who I am today. So shout out to Dave Pilkey. Seriously, if it wasn't for this guy, I don't think I'd have been inspired to draw, to create comics, and eventually make and tell stories that I'm trying to tell today. Okay, the shelf is cleared. We're gonna keep going. I just found a huge stack of old drawings from my uh, 2011. So this is right before high school. This is middle school. I just found a bunch of old ninja and like superhero related drawings that are really embarrassing, but wow, look how edgy your boy was. Yeah, I think most of these are gonna go in the trash. At least the stuff that I'm not that proud of. So I'm choosing the parts and papers I don't want and I'm gonna throw them away and I'll leave the arts that I, the artworks that I really enjoy that I feel super nostalgic towards or that I'm proud of. Um, I'll probably compile them somewhere. All right, I'm gonna show you guys another big part of my childhood. If anyone recognizes this guy, you are the man. These are called Gundam, and they're basically Japanese versions of Legos, but they come in these pre-molded kits, and you cut the kits up and you piece them together yourselves. And putting one together can take anywhere between three to 12 hours. I spent days just hunching down over my desk and building these things and having so much fun. I'm gonna donate a good amount of these guys, but I'm never gonna lose the value that they brought me from building them. So uh, yeah, thank you very much, Double O Gundam. It is now time for you to bring joy to somebody else, but thank you very much for everything that you've done. So we have removed the shelf. It is completely gone. So is that colorful stand over there. So we have this whole strip of space. Um, and it might not seem like a lot more, but every inch matters when you're dancing. <laughs> I need to figure out how to furnish these walls. Let's go back to our chart. Themes are creativity, drive, imagination, and learning. So we want the wall and the room layout to embody that. Next is film, dance, and podcast, and sleep. These are the main functions for the room. So based off of that, Let's try our best to lay out the room so that it is functionally formed while embodying the elements of imagination, creativity, learning, and drive. We've got this threaded art from Shanghai. We've got this New York Times thing I bought on Times Square, like a tactic tourist poster trailer things that I got in Singapore. 
And these are the main set pieces of the room. So we've got that light, which is something my mom bought me for graduation. And we have this awesome neon sign that says Vertigo that my lovely girlfriend got. And they complement each other. So let's figure out how we're gonna place everything. There's one more thing that I have not shown you guys. This is from my trip to China as well. I went under stance with Anderson to Jiangsu. Okay, so maybe this will fit somewhere, especially since we have all the space now. That's kind of cool. Everything is quite symmetrical at the moment. There's not a lot of stuff, but I love this movie so much. Spider-Man is the Spider-Verse masterpiece. This is what my good buddy Raymond gave me as a graduation gift. This could be a poster. Oh, it's perfect. It's actually thematically correct too. If any of you have watched my previous videos, you'll know that I studied abroad in Fudan University for a few months. That's actually where I met my girlfriend, Pinar. I think it'd be really nice to hang this up on the wall as well. So let's do that. So what you're seeing here are the beginnings of the Vertigo Studio. <laughs> I feel like there could there's something missing, or there's too much of something. I have I have, I have no idea. My designs, my interior design skills are like one. Let me let me explain a little bit actually why I put things where I put them. At first I was lost, but like I said, I wanted to establish themes based off of creativity, drive and imagination and learning. So I put things up that I felt reflected those themes. Got the film camera over here. So whenever I read, I can have that. There is our painting. And I put that there, which is the art of Big Hero 6. I love that movie. So if you have any critiques or ideas for what we could do to make this space better, please let me know. I'd be very happy to hear your feedback. I know I'm about to get on, but you know, it'll be great. And this is the space I want to be able to inspire you guys to be your best selves and create your best art. So go ahead and check out my other videos and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see what we have coming in the future because we got some good stuff coming. I will catch you all later in the next one. Take care. Peace.